Hey, boos. We've got quite the unboxing here, a little bit different. We got Joji merch and a lot of it. Um, I needed a sweatshirt, so I was like, oh, these are pretty cheap. It was like 45 bucks, so I was like, I do need a sweatshirt. And then the tees were looking kind of cool, so I was like, ooh, I kind of want this. I think they're $25 a piece, so in total it's like 100 bucks, and I got a hoodie and two tees, which isn't bad. I guess we'll figure it out once we get a look at the quality of the pieces. I always feel kind of bad passing up cool like album merch and things like that because looking back on a lot of vintage pieces, it's like, ooh, is this going to be like as sought after or, you know, am I going to appreciate this like even more in the future? Um, like, is it going to age well and be like a really cool vintage piece? So the, that's pretty much what these were. Besides the hoodie, I think the hoodie is just like an all right design and I kind of just wanted a plainish hoodie to get. Also, before I cut into this, the shipping took a very long time, but that's kind of the standard with a lot of like music merch or like album merch. Um, it won't release until around the album drops, which I think the album drops late September, 30 days from yesterday. You guys can calculate that. It's going to be late September though. Um, and then I ordered this, I want to say like maybe two months ago it took a very long time longer than what they had posted on their website i think the website said like wait three to four weeks or maybe it did take that long i don't know but it, it took a long time to ship for sure and uh yeah that's all i got so we will open this up i've been waiting to see this uh, i actually got it yesterday but it was too late to record the video so i did not i don't know why i'm using scissors either i can easily just tear this the bag came like ripped actually already a little bit so First off, we got the hoodie, which is actually feeling very thick, which I'm kind of surprised. I think I went ahead and got this in an XL because I usually like a little bit larger of a fit. So on the front, you have this golden run spell out looking like some Versace or some classy like Roman or Greek font. Flip it over on the back and my revenge viewers are going to be going crazy because we have the Joji kill. That's all for this piece. I'll try it all on after we get through it and tell you what the sizing is like. Uh, moving on, we have the tees, which are actually, um, or I guess the sweatshirt fellow, the packaging, or maybe this is packaging for the t-shirts. Oh, wow, this is very interesting. Not really what I was expecting, but here we have the Gimme Love. Um, <laughs> weird. So actually looking close at it, the tag has been cut off and then they just put like the joji branding underneath which is weird um obviously you know some acid wash going on it's also a very like very thin shirt i wasn't really expecting that for the tees and it's looking pretty small for a size xl if i do say so myself so definitely glad i went with that um but yeah definitely you know like i said has this vintage feel so we got that uh down already but i'm guessing a lot of the kind of like wrinkling and everything comes from the wash of the garment itself like even the graphic looks like a little beat up almost but yeah kind of some kind of has some cool like fading around the edges um so it's not just a hard cut and then obviously you have the give me love text down below the bees and the honeycomb nectar obviously the album name uh but yeah moving on to the next tee so the next tee we got i forget exactly which one is, oh yeah, I got the Sanctuary tee. This time actually packaged in the uh, packaging instead of just a loose bag showing in there. Um, this t-shirt is a lot different than the other one. This time around, definitely looking like an XL. Um, I mean, you can probably tell this looks like three times bigger. Uh, but yeah, you just got the Sanctuary cover art. I, I love the song Sanctuary, so beautiful. No cut tag on the inside this time, and then also the blank itself is very different than the other one. This time a lot thicker. Um, you know, more normal. I'm guessing this might be like a Gildan blank. It doesn't feel like the greatest quality. Um, but yeah, definitely different than that washed one where that one's a lot thinner and like soft. This one is a little more rough and just, you know, like I said, kind of like a Gildan blank, it feels like. Anyway, that's the pieces I got. I'll try them all on and let you know what the fit is like on each of them. All right, so first up, we have the acid washed Gimme Love one. And honestly, this is like very small for an XL, probably the smallest XL I've ever worn. Maybe, you know, the tag on it is cut. Maybe they messed up and... Um, this is a different size or maybe I ordered a women's shirt. Maybe this is women's. I thought it was all unisex though, but um, it, it still fits, but it's like just on the border of not being <laughs> like big enough for me. Uh, 
I'm like 6'3", so I usually border a large in XL, especially depending on the brand. But as you guys can tell, you know, the sleeves don't go very far, and then length on the torso isn't bad, I suppose. Um, it is a comfortable t-shirt, I will say at least, though. Um, got a very soft and, like, smooth, you know, a worn feel, which I'm sure comes from the wash. That's the Gimme Love tee. Next up, we have the Sanctuary tee, and I really wish they did this one in a vintage wash as well, or, you know used like kind of a more vintage looking blank or nicer blank so it would age well especially when the graphic itself is based off of the like 70s or 80s or whenever this uh style is supposed to be mimicking but a very cool design nonetheless and these tees were pretty cheap um not the most comfortable tee the collar is a bit tight um like i said this is probably a gildan blank if you guys aren't familiar with uh gildan they're kind of like notorious for having uh, some of the like most popularly used cheap blanks. So if you ever got like a custom t-shirt for your softball team or something like that uh, This is probably like similar blank that was used and last but not least we have the run hoodie and this is actually pretty nice I think I said, you know 45 bucks for this and it's a thick hoodie um, Doesn't feel that cheap the inside is kind of you know, I'll show you guys. Uh, I'm not sure if you'll be able to tell but you have this kind of like exposed uh, like fleece material or whatever that usually, at least for the first couple wears, like you get the, um, the cotton like rubbing off on stuff or, you know, it sticks to whatever you're wearing underneath. So um, obviously a cheaper blank, but um, it, it feels nice. I'm sure it will like hold up. Sizing's pretty good. This is a thick hoodie. I really like the thicker hoods on hoodies where you know you can see where it sticks up or like stacks up on itself and kind of stays there keeps you warm i like i like these kinds of hoodies but it is super hot in here it's like 100 degrees outside almost so i'm, I'm dying in this hoodie right now uh so i'll probably wrap it up there thank you guys for watching uh i think it's you know all pretty reasonable uh, a little bit disappointed in the sizing on that washed tee if they didn't mess up the actual blank for it then i would recommend going like two sizes up but um, you know, having the tag cut off, it looks like they outsourced it and then might have, you know, accidentally misbranded it as an extra large when it's actually probably a larger, maybe, maybe even a medium, or maybe, maybe it's a women's piece and the sizing's off for that reason. But um, other than that, you know, the, the other, the sanctuary tee, the blank or the tee used is a little cheap as well. But this hoodie I think is dope. Like, I, I like it. The quality on it is, you know, 45 bucks isn't bad, I don't think at all. Um, but yeah, that's, that's my two cents on it. That's all I got.